Hi friends, today I come up with two strategies how to get qualified GPAT exam and how to get good score in GPAT. So few students they may confuse how many bits we should attempt to get qualified in GPAT and few, few students may get confused okay how many bits are essential to get good score in GPAT. So here I come up with two strategies the first strategy for qualified GPAT okay after that I will go for the second strategy okay how to be GPAT topper. Here it's not the essence how many hours you spend for your GPAT preparation it's the matter are you aware of the pattern. Are you aware how many bits are essential to get qualified or to get good GPAT score? So this is important for that reason I come up with two strategies. So by seeing two strategies you will come to know so what are the essential points and how many bits we should attempt to get qualified as well as how many bits we should attempt to get good rank all India rank. Okay. So you must listen and you should share with your friends. Right. So first we'll see strategy for qualify GPAT exam. Once again repeating, see how much time you are spending. For example, for 24 hours in a day, if you are spending 20 hours in a day for your preparation for from past six months onwards, but you, you couldn't aware of the GPAT pattern and the number of bits to get qualify. Okay. That is useless for your preparation. So here this is the guide before going to write your GPAT exam. So uh, as per my experience, my knowledge, I am sharing that information about uh, qualify and get good rank in GPAT. So let us see the first one strategy for qualify GPAT exam. Here as we know there are 125 questions in the exam. We know total 500 marks. Each question carry 4 marks. So 4 into 125 equal 500 marks. So if you see here to qualify GPAT exam, it is enough to attempt only 70 to 80 bits. You just imagine so total 120 bits are there in the exam but you need to attempt only 70 to 80 what does it mean just half of the total questions in the GPAT okay if you see the last three years last three years means you are going to write two, 2018 exam if you see 2017 2016 15 like 14 also so the last year cutoff qualifies if you see for open okay so your if your cast open or OBC the cutoff marks for GPAT for last three years just 115 to 125 in between out of 500 marks for ST reservation SC ST okay 90 to 100 marks out of 500 what does it mean you just imagine 100 to 100 to 125 around 130 for open OBC 120 means how many bits you should attempt to get qualify 35 not 30 one one question carry four marks three into four 120 if you attempt 35 exact bit out of 125 okay so your rank will be in means your name will be in qualified list so you see here ratio the analysis if you attempt one sorry 80 questions out of if you attempt 80 questions out of 125 questions okay from that 80 if around 50 questions are right and around 30 questions are wrong your score will be 170 out of 500 you just imagine 125 okay you attempt 80 questions but only 50 are correct 30 are wrong though okay so we know we know the thing the wrong answer minus one mark deducted from your correct answer so you will get 170 out of 500 but how much uh, uh, minimum marks to get qualify around 125 to 130 but you secured 170 if you attempt 70 bits only if you attempt 70 bits only out of 70 around 40 bits are correct but 30 bits are wrong okay so your score will be 130 so 130 means cut off no either obc or open so if you attempt 70 though 40 bits are correct but 30 bits are wrong so your name will be in qualified list so this is a ratio you will come to know you can easily understand so how many bit we should attempt if you see above 130 is safe score to qualify in gpat okay but here it's not the fixed value 130 is not the cutoff value okay so the values may be varies okay it may come down into 120 or may goes into 140 but it may it never crosses 150 so here but try to score above 150 for higher all india rank in gpat okay so this is a strategy to just qualify in gpat attempt it 
50 are correct, 30 are wrong, okay, so you will get qualified GPAD. Or else around 70, 40 are correct, 30 are wrong answer, though your name in qualified list, okay, so this is the number of question you need to attempt to get qualified. Strategy for being GPAD topper. Okay, you have started preparation from last one year or six months onwards. You, you refer all major subjects like cosmology, cognitive, chemistry, analysis and minor subjects also. You have some confidence. And you need to get good score in GPAD. Okay, so how many bits? You may have one doubt. How many bits I should attempt to get good rank? All India GPAD top 10 rank or top 20 rank or below 100 rank. See, you have to attempt 90 to 100 multiple choice questions. Okay, out of 120, you need to attempt 90 to 100 okay but here the thing is 60 to 70 bits must be correct out of 90 to 100 if you have confidence then only you pick the answer okay so 70 60 to 70 must be correct out of 90 to 100 okay if you attempt 60 to 70 your score will be 200 to 250 if your score in between 200 to 250, you can expect All India rank in between top 10 to top 100. Top 100 if your rank around 200. Top 10 if your rank around 250. From past 5 years, I am not saying 3 years, from past 5 years onwards, the All India first rank secured marks out of 500 around 250 only. 250, 260, 240 like that. What does it mean? All India first rank secure half of the total marks. 250 by 500. So if you attempt 90 to 100, okay, but 60 to 70 question must be correct. Then only you will get around 220, 230 marks out of 500. Your rank will, will be below 100. You, you may expect below 50 also. And here, if you attempt more multiple choice questions with confidence, if you have confidence, okay, you can attempt more than 90 to 100 also, okay, so your rank will be more, with close to top 10 or top 5, if you have confidence. See, if you don't have any confidence, but if you try to attempt 90 to 100, okay, so here majority of questions are wrong and major, the attempt, the correct questions, number of correct questions will be reduced, okay, so the concept from the strategy for being GPAD topper if you are confident if you know the answer okay so then only you pick the answer at least 60 to 70 answer should be correct so we'll see for your understanding here I have given the chart so marks calculation logic you can see here for example, if you attempt 50 bits out of 125, if you just attempt 50, okay, out of 50, 35 are correct and 15 are wrong, okay, so your score 140. For 35, score 140. 35 into 4, how much? 140. Minus 15, no? Negative. One question. If you put one wrong question, okay, negative is minus 1. So, minus 15, 15 wrong answers. So, negative is minus 15. 140 minus 15, okay, so your net score 125. So, it depends on your fate. If the cutoff is below 125, so your name will be in the cut in the qualified list. But if you attempt 60 bits, okay, out of 60, 35 are correct, 15 are wrong, okay, so 140 minus, sorry, 25 wrong, 140 minus 25, okay, your net score will be 115, okay. See, 115, chances for reserved candidates, SC, ST candidates can qualify, but the problem for OBC and general category, if they up, if they put, for 60 questions out of 35 questions are correct now we'll see the next strategy okay if you attempt 70 bits okay 40 bits are corrected out of 70 40 bits are corrected okay, 30 bits are wrong so 40 into 4 160 160 minus 30 so 1 for 130 so you can expect you are you can expect to qualify gpat exam so like that if you see the last one okay 100 for example if you put 100 out of 155 bits are correct 45 bits are wrong for 55 220 minus 45 your rank around 175 so 175 means you can expect your gpat rank below 500 because 200 marks if you secure below 100 Okay, around 170, you can expect below 500 All India rank. See, 100 bits you attempt, 70 are correct, 30 are wrong, 120 you will secure, minus 30, 250. I am sure your rank will be below top 20 or top 10 also even. Because from past 5 years onwards, All India first rank secure 
250 around out of 500 marks okay so this is the marks calculation logic so here two strategy for two kinds of students okay mentality is different no so mentality of you you are you may think in one way your friend may think in another way okay so here strategy for get qualifying gpat exam and strategy for being gpat topper okay so here these two strategies i hope help you to understand analyze the pattern analyze and uh, uh, help you to uh, know how many questions we should attempt to get qualified and to being a gpat topper so thank you for watching this video and do subscribe and do share with the friends Yes, 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 yes.